Every time where there's a revolution on earth, the first thing they do is take the men away as workers to yeah. another place. And that leaves the women and children vulnerable. What is it about men that they attack the men first? Well, because the men will, you know, the men will, if they're men, yeah, they'll, right. they'll protect the women and children. That, that's what a culture and a society and a tribe, I come from a real tribal bunch, you know, yeah. and that's how it is. You get rid of the men first, and then you force the women to become uh, kind of, what's the word, an anathema, anathema. The women then have to be the warriors. And that isn't good for raising kids to That's be for that sure. Way. That's not uh, how women are supposed to be. I say that there is a spiritual order to life, uh -huh. and that order is God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over children. The love and the order come from above, and when they remove the black man, it went to hell in a handbasket. Well, I want and to talk to you about exactly happened. what you mean so we can be on the same page, because yeah. I like definition, but... What do you say? What do you mean in exactly when you're saying the man over the woman? Because I'm a woman and that makes me nervous. <laughs> you don't like having a man over you? At certain times, at night, I do. <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, what do you mean by that? I'm asking uh, you, what do you mean? So, uh, An author authoritarian mean guy? I mean, nobody wants, no woman's going to marry up with a guy like that. I mean, unless they're No, damaged. real men, real men, are, a real man is not of, uh, in control like that. Okay, good. A real man is a light unto the family, unto the right. wife. I believe that. He, he guides like her. Like my boyfriend, he's like that. He he says like, uh, he, when we talk about this same subject, you know, because it's one of my favorite subjects to talk <laughs> about, obviously. Um, he says, well, th the strongest thing a man can do is to, um, you know, um, show weakness at certain times. When show it's weakness? Called for, when uh, it's called for. When is there a time for a man to be weak, to show weakness? Well, he doesn't really say weakness. I can't remember the word. Oh, okay. It's, uh, I can tell like, you to dump him. No, no. He's saying like um, to, to allow the woman to um, I can't remember his words. I should call him up. I, <laughs> but what he means is like when the man just loves the woman back to sanity yeah. rather than rebukes Th and abuses right. her. When a man loved God or love was right with all his heart, soul, and might along with nothing else, he's able to bring the woman back to sanity. Yeah, that, that's what he said. That's for sure. And but he's the done problem, that for me, you know, so I really, oh, I good. do love him and he's, to me, he's the perfect man. Right on. And you know, I tried to, here's my thing. I've raised two men. And I try to raise two alpha men, you know. Because that's why I like when you talk about that. About, it is about the mother. Yeah. And I've my whole life tried to first understand what in the hell they're doing. Yeah. And second, get them to stand up for you know, to the woman. And, you know, my one son, he's That's divorced right. now because I ruined their marriage and he's mad, you know, still at me and she hates me and whatever. But, you know, <laughs> I wasn't, no, but I wasn't going to see a woman tear down my son. That's right. And I wasn't going to stand for it. I'm like, bitch, I was here first. <laughs> I was here first. And, you know, I'm the alpha, I'm the alpha woman in this family. And you don't, I don't care what and who, you don't, talk to my son like that. That's right. And I told my son the same thing. Well, you know, if you're going to say those kind of things to her, of course she's going to say them kind of things back to you. You got to do it right. You're not doing, you're coming from a victim place and you're letting her be over you and that's never going to work. It never works. See, that's why when I watch never. you, I'm like, I totally get it. Yeah. What you're saying about that. I agree. Yeah. It never works. Mm -hmm. I want, speaking of men, you prefer a strong man, right? A real man, a strong man. Well, now, yeah, because so, it's like he keep he minds his own damn business. Yeah. <laughs> if I, I, want, I can do what I want, you know, like I have an obsession with cleaning and stuff. And oh, yeah. people, my kids make fun of me. Everybody makes fun of me. But he'll just go knock yourself out. Do it. You know, do it. And, uh, you know, I just like to clean. That's things. right. Uh, he doesn't try. I got to ask you about like one that. man that you were with. I don't uh -oh. know him, but he appeared to be weak. 
when I see him. Mm-hmm. That guy, uh, Arnold, remember him? Did you marry him? Um, he used to be an actor. I try to think of that. Um, you don't remember Arnold? Oh, I, I saw him on the airplane one day. Oh, Tom Arnold? Yeah. Uh-huh. You remember I do him? remember him. He appeared, I saw him on a, uh, a air, I was traveling from. You trying to get me shot. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> It'll make me say things about Tom Arnold. But he seems so boyish and childish and yeah, he is. immature. Oh, he is. You're right. What was it like living with a weak man like that? Well, at that time, I was thinking that a uh, woman could fix a man, you know. Oh. See? So yeah. I thought, you know, like a lot of women, I'm, th- I'm thinking, well, here's my project. <laughs> It'll keep me from cleaning. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and he, w- he was my special project. And, uh, you know, then you find out, uh-oh. It's not going to work. It's, it's not working. Yeah. You know, because, you know, the woman, you try to, you try to, you know, be with a man and uh, not a tantrum-throwing big fat baby that, you know, his <laughs> legs shake all the time and he's <laughs> sneaking coke behind your back. Amazing. You know, you don't like that. No, no. No woman, no like, woman that. like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you agree with me that a lot of men are beta males now. Oh yeah, they're, yeah. they're like almost girls. Yeah, it, isn't that like really, amazing? It's like what? It's like yeah, they're not attractive. Like when I go to movies or watch movies, it's like I'm like girl. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't make me like get attracted to them. That's right. I want to see a real guy that I know underneath. You know, my favorite male fantasy or whatever. <laughs> I like the strong, silent yes. type, and uh, you know, is that that's like a, I like subdued passion. I don't like the ah, you know. I'm <laughs> no to, woman does. It's to be like honest. don't take my, you know. They're yeah. going like, Daddy, look at me, because that's how they yeah. are. You know, I am. But when they're up there, Daddy, look at me. I'm like. Get back. That's right. That's I always tell guys uh, who are like that when they have a woman, it's like it's two, it's like two lesbians together. The man acting like a woman. A woman don't want another woman like that. She want a real man. Well, so, some women they are go, they do like a, a, a feminine a, a beta man. male. Well, yeah, because then they can boss them around. Oh yeah, I'm about to say that's all the yeah. reason. Yeah. So that they can control them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I want to so. Nobody is able to uh, cause. But you know what I want to say? That has a lot to do with the mother-in-law because a lot of these women, they think they're smarter than uh, women who've done more and are smarter than them in reality. And they just like to bring women down. They like to put their self to bring a stronger, more intelligent, more capable, and more successful woman down. Amazing. Because they can't lift their self up. So what they look around, oh, I'm going to bring her down. I'm going to look good doing it. Why, uh, why, why don't women tell each other the truth like you're doing now about what women are doing? I noticed that it's hard Because of mind women. control. they got to play their role. It's all role. It's, yeah. all, it's all like imposed program. Amazing. And they gotta do, they got to do what they're told to do, and that's be a useful idiot. Yeah. And they're proud of it, too. They're dumber than hell and proud of it. <laughs> I, could, I could take... I just, it just, I don't That's like amazing. people that are arrogant and ignorant. But the, the Bible says that the thing is when you see something like that and with the sneer and all, just step back and don't get involved in any way because they always undo themselves. Yes. And we're seeing that right now in our country. They're arrogant and ignorant folk are undoing themselves. We don't have to get any, we don't have to get any of their mess on us. We, we're just supposed to witness it. But no, with discernment that that is what's that's right. going on. And nobody has any damn discernment. That's right. That's what's missing. You're absolutely right. 100%. I'm a grandmother, and I know, okay? I know. I know everything. I know how to raise little children. I do, and I do it. And I am just sick of people not listening to me and doing what I tell them to do, because if they would do that, they would, it would win. We, um, here at my nonprofit organization, uh, we hold seminars and meetings for women only. Oh, good. Sometimes for men only and then everybody together. We're putting together an event right now for men and women. And these women hopefully like to hear the truth. You should come and speak there. Okay. 
Would you come? Oh, hell yeah. I love to tell men what I think of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> and see if they're man enough to take it. Well, we'll let you know. So okay, I'd you, love to. Okay. I was hearing about your uh, nonprofit because I, I just think it sounds great that you're uh, advising people on how to bring economic freedom into their own life. Yes. That's really good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, uh, it's called BOND, the Brotherhood uh -huh. Organization of a New Destiny. And for 28 years, we've been rebuilding the family by rebuilding a man. And that means loving what's right. Uh, you know, the man's supposed to lead. Uh, they also, I believe, should be in business. They need to have, be entrepreneurs. Yes, absolutely. And so we tutor, we counsel, That's we have a freedom, home for young isn't men. It? That's a real freedom. I grew up that way. And so we started this academy, Entrepreneur Academy out of barn. And we're showing these guys how to start their own businesses. Uh, That's great. We bring in speakers to answer whatever question they might have. And we also have a credit union. We had oh, to start that's a credit the key. union. Yeah. Credit union is the key, community right. credit union. Right, because they don't I, have credit, so we have yeah, to loan them the money. That is so great. 28 years of it. Good for you. Isn't that's that so revolutionary, right, yeah. and good.